my house. Hello everyone. It's Julia, welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber and if you're new here, nice to meet you. I make videos about living a good story and today we're living such a good story because we're on our way to the airport. Um, for Christmas, we are going to visit my cousin and her husband, my other cousin by the law, in Cairo. We're flying through London. And we're also going to Istanbul. And we're currently waiting on the lift. I'm so excited. I just put my away message at work on my computer. I just finished, I actually worked today, just finished. And we're leaving. And I'm so excited. Drew always makes us come outside so much earlier than the, before they even get here. Well, it also makes it hard when they miss the turn every single time. It's every time. <laughs> God. <laughs> Okay, we made it through the check-in. It was really confusing. We had to download this app and fill out all these things. I spent like two days and it just meant nothing. I still had to show that man. Well, but anyways, they let us in. We got the tickets. And I wanted to say something that I haven't said in a while because I haven't had a paper ticket in a while. This, this is, is a, a ticket, ticket to, to London. London. leaving the lounge our flight got delayed a little bit but conveniently the lounge that we have access to has a specific area for British Airways which I've never really flown British Airways or maybe not never but it's not a regular thing for me so I didn't know that and so we got to sit in a special area and we got to stay even though the lounge closed like an hour ago so that was really handy also we seem to be skirting a lot of inconveniences like <laughs> we seem to, we seem to be joining lines like just before they get long like our whole security process like wasn't that bad like every line we get in it gets really long once we get in it and when we we're in security <laughs> we were gonna have to wait a lot longer but they opened up a new area like right where we were standing like a door right where we were standing first ones through the right door. when we were there and we were just, great so we're just we're having a lucky night because I want to try to sleep on the next one. We were just drinking coffee. Oh, that's Hot chocolate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and follow up on the packing video. If you watch the packing video, you know I was worried about the dress. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. None. We are going to get on our plane, so I just wanted to say that this is a ticket to Cairo. sleep and so tired um, I just wanted to say that the travel day was really good like pretty solid we didn't really have any issues I think I mentioned I don't know if I mentioned this in this video I said it in my packing video if you watched that before but we had a lot of paperwork we had to have it sleep we had to have COVID tests we had to have a passenger locator form to get into London we had to have a declaration of health form to get into Egypt and the COVID test and we had to get visas when we got there and we had everything we needed at every point so i was just really worried about not having the right paperwork but everything worked out we had everything good we also uh had also i didn't mention in this video but i did mention in my packing video that we had an airport expediter meet us at the gate yesterday and i wanted to just give my opinion on that 
Um, basically, well, they didn't meet us at the gate because you can't go in, but once we got through security, they were waiting for us and they walked just through like getting a visa and then going through getting our stamps on our passport and like everything. And then the best part was they picked us up and took us all the way here. And upon reflection, I would say I was glad we had it. It wasn't expensive. It was $30 total. And I would say the best part was having them, having somebody that was like waiting for us, put us in a car and then the car took us straight here. That, I've had that several times when I go to foreign countries where like some kind of shuttle is waiting for you. And I've had times where I just had to figure it out and it is just so nice. You like have been traveling for over a day to get somewhere where you're confused and to have someone just put you in a car versus like having to get a taxi or an Uber and everyone's kind of yelling at you and not knowing like how much you should pay and things like that. So that was really nice. Also, there were like three different places to get a visa. So it was nice just to have someone tell me what to do. And also an interesting thing is because he was expediting us, he took us through, you know, when you do your visa, there's usually like the local people, like there was an African union side and then there was everyone else. And we would normally go through the everyone else side, but he took us through the African union nationals side and people were just kind of looking at us, but he, there was like nobody on that side. So that was nice. So we got to kind of cut that. Um, so I would say it was worth it. We're coming back through here on the way from Istanbul and I already had one booked and I wasn't sure if I was going to cancel it, but I think I'm definitely going to keep it because it was just nice. I don't think I need help getting expedited and getting the visa. I can do that all myself, but it's worth it to just have the ride home and just make sure nothing stupid happens. So it was nice. I can link below the company that we used. It was super easy to set up and I don't think we even paid yet. Like they don't make you pay until after they send you the survey and you have to give a positive review and if you give a positive review then you pay. <laughs> Museum of Egyptian Civilization. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> and there's my cousin and her husband. minutes down the road and we're in this area called the Coptic neighborhood which is a uh, like a orthodox christianity main arm yeah, sect. Main we just went into a church called the hanging church because it's on stilts it's really cool and now we're looking at some ruins that Severin just told me that the u.s helped restore so as taxpayers we just wanted to say you're welcome we did it <laughs> we did it <laughs> If you climb it, one month in prison. Guys, risky, risky. Hello, good morning. Starting chaotically in the middle of the parking lot. We are seeing the pyramids today, and it's chaos. Oh, oh yeah, you turn. We're <laughs> going that way. I love the tires on their carts. That's like, crazy. Probably not. It's okay, there's no rules. There are no rules when you show Foreigners, up here. 350 for one hour. Yes. I wonder if it's like, okay, what about non-foreigners? We are walking backwards. 
Ends the pyramid. Which one are we in again? Uh, one of you are in the cupra. Cupra. Inside the pyramid. Now we have to go up. Huh. Morgan. Okay. This is crazy. There's like no one over here too, which is nice. Sand. How's your butt feel? Fine. Good. Yeah. Alright, we did it. We rode a camel. That's what I was waiting for. I don't know how I feel about it. Because you were like, be ready to hop down. I was like, I don't know that I could. It was fun. <laughs> We've driven over to a different area where you can see them from further away. Pretty cool. I really like this country because everything is my favorite color. Everything is tan. The buildings, the sand, my shirt. The dust in the air. The coffee stain on my shirt. So what did you think of the camels? I can't decide. I think um, it was fun. Yeah, it was... I just feel bad because they look sad. I thought it was fun. It was like something I've always been kind of curious about. So I'm glad yeah. I did it. Um, I but they are tall. Like it was kind of, it's a little unnerving. Oh yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't mind that. I try to avoid it. Like, <coughs> weird animal situations. So I was just unsure, yeah. but I was like, huh. I mean, it's like a horse. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're meant so, to carry people, but. Yeah, I don't know. Personally. I don't know if I recommend it. <laughs> Julius had a big booger. I have a big booger. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have a big booger. <laughs> Here's a small taste of what we went through on the way here. Just, there were a hundred more camels. Ah. Yep. Hey guys. They're going left. Watch out for tiny motorcycle. Oh, Most people book like a $50 right. white van nice tour. Job. Not us. Seven <laughs> about us. Like Driving the car. We did it. <laughs> All right, we're back at Sarah Bryn and Andrew's house. I just washed my face, that's why it looks very like clean. <laughs> um, we really wanted to have Egyptian food for dinner and Sarah Bryn said the best option would be the specific restaurant, but they mostly do takeout. So we're gonna have Egyptian food here. <laughs> yeah, Sarah Bryn's really bad. <laughs> Spicy Hawassi. Cheese. Ooh, I'm gonna want this. Eggplant. I see the word spicy a lot. I'm excited. Oh, I'm gonna want to buy you, you guys open cheese. that. These are our sides for sharesies. Okay. All right, we finished. Dinner is very yummy. Hi, Drew. We also just went and got COVID tested PCR because we're going to Turkey in two days. Um, and so we want to make sure these will be ready by tomorrow and then we'll have them for the next day. Tomorrow's Christmas, by the way. It's Christmas Eve. I didn't even mention it. It's crazy. Because I keep forgetting. <laughs> well, we also like skipped a whole day. Man. I know. Like, I, I don't know what day it is, where I am, what's happening. Yeah. I'm really tired, but heart is full of joy to be with my cousin. Mm -hmm. Having a great time. Yeah. We're going to go watch a Christmas movie and go to sleep. Thank you for watching this video on journey across two continents, three continents. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.